but we're still going to do more fundraising in the near future. And who are going to be riding the... So what do you think of it? It's uh, interesting. We are at the St. Mary Magdalene's Church in Wandsworth Common, which was the starting point of our last challenge and will also support our new project. I'd like project. to express a warm welcome to everybody to our church this afternoon, to the Church of St. Mary Magdalene in Wandsworth Common. All the profits from this fair will be going to our six charities, and I have a little list here so I don't forget about them. And our six charities for this year are USPG, who are the United Society for the Propagation of the Gospel, for Wellcare, for Wandsworth Mind, for St Giles' Trust to support uh, offenders around the country, for Teabag, who uh, run an education and book appeal for Ghana, and last but by no means least, the UNICEF Pakistan Flood Children's Appeal. And I'm absolutely de delighted to welcome Alexis and Anwar, who are going to be riding their motorbikes from London to Casablanca next year, and they will be starting their journey from here, uh, from St Mary Magdalene. So if, I wonder if Anwar, you'd like to say a very few words about what you're doing. Great pleasure, yes. Good morning, uh, good afternoon everyone. My name is Anwar, I'm the coordinator for the London to Casablanca 2012 Charity Bike Ride Project. I would just like to revisit what we did the last time with St. Mary Magdalene, and that was a London to Syria Charity Bike Ride that was uh, supporting SOS Children Villages International. We raised um, over £9,000 through that particular bike ride. This time we're doing it for UNICEF for their uh, Pakistan Park Children's Appeal. Uh, that bike ride is going to take place in July of 2012 uh, and we are hoping, we are hoping to raise in the region of £30,000 for that particular project. And we would like all of you to get behind us and support us. And thank you very much for having us here today. Thank you. There is more now, I believe, if I just go around the corner, I think I've heard the sound of reindeer. Am I right? There's a wonderful looking elf here. So here we go. Apart from the charity Christmas fair, there was also an art exhibition with many of the pictures being available for purchase. So Anwar, do you have a favourite one? Well, <laughs> I have to say, I haven't actually seen yet that immediately catch my eye, although some of them are very nice. The famous Last Supper. I quite like this one here. Yes, that is a very nice picture. Yeah, weird though it may sound, I actually like bleak landscapes. <laughs> Some of my most favourite pictures or paintings in a very bleak landscape, somewhere in the middle of Alaska or All right. somewhere like that would be remote. So yeah, it's landscapes. Very remote and desolate. Desolate, yeah, completely. The church also offered a nice vegetarian charity lunch and charity cakes and coffee, which Anwar and I thoroughly enjoyed. At the end of the day, there was also a raffle with proceeds again going to charity. It was a delight to see how individuals from different faiths could come together for a good cause and gives hope for the future. It's been roughly a year and a half since our charity ride to Syria and looking at the gifts we got from the kids in Damascus and Aleppo encourage us to work hard for our new project and enhance our motorcycling skills for the challenges ahead. And our training for off-road conditions in Spain continues. That's the road up there we have, we have to take. Go ahead. We have to cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on this, come on this side. Come on this side. This is easier. Okay. Oh dear. Jamal, you okay? 
Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. You'll never go riding with me again. Very wet, very wet. <coughs> Be careful. Yeah. Uh, easy job. Uh, One guy can do it. Anything break? Huh? Anything break? I don't know. So we were standing outside the Manzil Way Mosque today and collected uh, quite a lot of money for our charity project. Thank you to everyone at the Manzil Way Mosque in Oxford. Thank you for everybody. Barakallah for you. And really we are happy what we have done today. Inshallah we'll do it more and more. Thanks. Part of keeping ourselves buying food for the trip is sometimes individually riding to different places like the reservoirs of Northampton where I'm meeting my friend Amir who lives there. He rides a Suzuki V-Strom 650 which is a very capable, reliable twin-cylinder long-distance tourer with some off-road capability. As my trusted XT is starting to age, I want to semi-retire it maybe next year. Taking a good look at Amir's V-Strom can help me decide if it is the bike for me. Other strong points are its economic nature, regular forks and tubeless tires. But of course, the new 2012 version of the Suzuki V-Strom, which retains many of the plus points of its predecessor, is also well worth considering. As Amir knows the Northampton area well, he is the perfect guide for showing us attractions of the area, such as the walking paths and also the 680-year-old Saxon church. Doing little trips such as this makes us look forward to what we will see in France and Spain on our way down to Morocco. We finish the day visiting the reservoir itself, which attracts many visitors, and enjoy a good cup of coffee. Thank you, Amir, for a brilliant day out. So what do you think of it? It's that wonderful time of the year again, and Mark, our third rider, Tom, a good friend, and I are at the NEC Bike Show to look at the new bikes and equipment on offer which can be useful on our trip. It was also a chance to see the new Honda NC700 which surprises with its excellent fuel economy of a reported 250 mile tank range on just a 15 litre tank. It also has onboard storage for a helmet, but some may prefer its bigger 1200cc sister. Then there is also the new 2012 Suzuki V-Strom 650 ABS GT to check out. I had started to like the old V-Strom as the main bike option for the near future, but the new 2012 model also started to grow on me. To be honest with you, I prefer the old design. Yeah? This one is quite good as well. There are many dual-purpose adventure bikes to choose from, but affordability and reliability are often deciding factors during a purchase, as well as the likelihood of getting hold of spare parts once you are outside of Europe. Many manufacturers now provide enduro bikes in the above 1000cc class, while some also offer models in the 600cc class. A 650cc bike with a twin cylinder engine and a 6 speed gearbox like the V-Strom can offer many of the advantages of an above 1000cc bike at the cost of a just 600cc one. Here we are testing out some recipes from the road. Mark, you like it? Fantastic. <laughs> I'm The motorcycle show was also an opportunity to see rare bikes and also to watch a stunt show which was very entertaining.
first want to thank everybody for the support that you have shown us ever since we started this project and wish you all a very Merry Christmas 2011.